Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the error 651 you might be getting on your Windows computer. So this error will typically occur if you're trying to establish an internet connection over a broadband connection. And it might say that the modem or other connecting device has reported an error. And usually it would say that the connection failed and it would say the error of course would be 651. So there's a couple of different solutions I'm going to go over in this tutorial that should hopefully resolve your issue. The first thing I would recommend doing is actually going to your main source, so going to your router, and actually unplugging it and plugging it back into the wall. So we give it a couple minutes and then plug it back in just to let it reset. You can also reset your TCP or IP on your computer. So we're going to do that in this tutorial right now, just assuming that you've already tried to reset your router manually and we would do that by right clicking on the start button and then we would left click on command prompt and in parentheses admin from this menu and you want to left click on that if you receive a user account control window select yes so now that we are in an elevated command prompt what we want to do is type in net sh space int space ip another space, reset, another space, reset, dot log, and now once you make sure you spelled everything correctly, you want to hit enter on your keyboard. So just give it a second here, it will take a little bit of time. Okay, so I'd recommend restarting your computer, and if you're still experiencing issues once you've restarted your computer, you want to head over to the start menu. Type in Network and Sharing Center. Should be listed right above Control Panel on Windows 10. Earlier versions should not say Control Panel here. Still want to left click on that. So you want to left click on Troubleshoot Problems right here. So if you're having problems with internet connections, click on that. Click on next to proceed with this diagnostic tool and just give it a couple seconds to scan here. So if you're trying to troubleshoot your connection to the internet, select the first option or try and connect to Microsoft.com. If that does not resolve your issue, we're not actually experiencing any computer, any internet related issues on this machine, so that's probably why you couldn't identify the problem. We can also click on Network Adapter here to run the Network Adapter Troubleshooting Utility as well. Again, couldn't identify the problem because we don't have a problem. Normally it would say that there was an issue that was found. One further thing we can try would be to head back to the Start menu and type in Network Connections. It should say View Network Connections, so you want to left click on that. So you might have multiple network connections here depending on if you have a lot of neighbors and their Wi-Fi networks are showing up here. Usually the one with the strongest signal, if you're actually getting a signal, will be the one that you're using. You should also know from your ISP on your router what your code is, so just keep that in mind. So whichever one is your network adapter, you want to right click on it and then click on disable and then after a few moments after it says disabled right click on it again click enabled if it was disabled to begin with and then when you click enabled it should hopefully work if that still does not resolve the problem you can right click on it again click on diagnose so if there's another issue it's another diagnostic tool here for the Windows Network Diagnostic again couldn't find anything because I'm not experiencing a problem and then I would always recommend going and physically checking all of your cables and cords to make sure everything's all plugged in. If you're using a built-in wireless adapter on your computer, well obviously you really can't do that much to check for that unless you actually open up your machine, but typically that wouldn't be the issue. So hopefully this tutorial will work for you guys. And as always, thank you for watching and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.